Balaram is uh, also the original spiritual master. Krishna kills all the demons, but the original spiritual master kills some demons. One demon is this donkey demon. Uh, what does the donkey demon do? Donkey demon, donkeys are famous for stupidity. Uh, what is the stupidity? Ignorance about Krishna. Mm. And as a result of that, we don't want to offer everything to Krishna, especially the fruits of our action. Uh, we want to keep the fruits of our actions, tal fruit, Danukasura didn't want to give to anybody. So he wanted to keep it for himself. He can't enjoy it himself, but still he'll hold on to it. So what did Balaram did? He killed that demon. And let Krishna and his devotees enjoy all the fruits. So that's what the spiritual master does or supposed to do. Uh, kill the donkey demon in us, uh, the ass, and make us engaged in serving Krishna and offer the results of our actions to Krishna. Generally in mundane world, people act with an intention to enjoy their own uh, fruits of their actions. But spiritual master teaches us to offer those fruits of our actions to Krishna. And that becomes the perfection of our existence. Balaram is the original spiritual master. And without a spiritual master, we cannot understand Krishna. Without the mercy of Balaram, we cannot approach Krishna. And this Balaram appeared as Nityananda Prabhu. When Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Balaram came as Nityananda Prabhu. Hano Nitai Bine Bhai Radha Krishna Pai Tenai. Without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, we cannot get Radha Krishna, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without Balaram's mercy, we cannot get Krishna. Therefore, we have to uh, serve Balaram, please him. And that's why our whole culture is based on approaching Balaram for getting Krishna, Krishna's mercy.